for joining us again. Well, I'm waking up. Now, we just had uh, illusionist David Blaine was just out here, and uh, he's gone. We got Gilbert Gottfried coming up, but right now it's time to bring out my own personal hero. He's boldly gone where no man has ever gone before, and he did it all in a very snappy yellow velour sweater. He's recently written a new book called Star Trek Memories. Please welcome the fabulous William Zack. I want so desperately, desperately to belong. If I say man and take my tie off, then you're totally in. Just whoop, there it is. Whoop, hey all man, you need how to are say. you? See it's that? Good man? to see you, man. And hey, I was, do I was hey doing dudes. this thing. Dudes, what's right? You got a standing O, you already belong. A standing O? Yeah, man, That's they went. Great. They went it's in standing A, isn't it? Something oh, standing like audience. That. Standing audience. Ovation, yeah. yes. They went nuts. Hey, this book, man, yeah. very nice book. Thanks, man. Now, what, was, what were some of the. <laughs> wow. I want to belong. You're way hip. All right. Now this book, way hip, yeah. That's great. You know, you lose track of the language. Do you really? Me too. And you can't communicate. I know. Are we going to be able to communicate? Just hold me, Bill. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I got you. All right, I'm good. Thank you. Anyway. Bill, Bill, can I tell you something? I you, don't know you are, if you can take it. You are, you are boldly going where no man has ever gone before. Believe me. All right. Now, let me ask you this, Bill. All right. Your fans are, uh, they're kind of lunatics. I mean, My to fans a certain are extent. lunatics? I think to a certain extent. Well, that's good because what I, I'm not quite straight myself. No, you? you're, you're really not. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Straight, you know what I mean. Straight, exactly. Yeah. What, what was the most like incredible experience you had with a lunatic this fan? This about amounts to the most incredible experience. Is there, <laughs> Bill, can I just tell you something else? Yeah. This is what I want for Christmas. Um, no, this is not one. Let me ask you this. What? <laughs> Sorry. What? Um, all right. Well, oh, man. I can't talk when I'm just looking into his eyes. It's very tough. I get swept away. This table moves. This table does move. Yeah. This soda, this sofa moves. No, the sofa doesn't move. Mm -hmm. The sofa stays where and it is. And you're eminently movable too. I understand. Well, <laughs> as long as the ratings are up there, exactly. They'll, they'll as, make as this table As long as I'm getting stable. that point four. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let me ask you this. Now, when you were when you were going to all those planets, you were always getting over. Yeah. You know, in the episodes. As yeah. a matter of fact. No, I mean when what I is, say what getting, is over, getting over. What does that mean? Getting over. Uh, knocking the boots. Knocking the boots. Knocking the interplanetary boots. So uh, taking them off, you mean? Yeah, something Putting like them that. Putting the money underneath the sofa. Yeah, getting over. I get you. Now. You're the man. Yeah, I get you. All right. So uh, we actually did, did. The other guys on the ship get a little bummed out. Nothing. Too, for us? Nothing at all. They got nothing. They got nothing. There was nothing. no other girls there. You were the man. I can follow that language. You can definitely follow I'm cool that. Now. You can follow the I'm cool now. We actually have a, a, a bunch of pictures uh, just sort of detailing your romances on various planets. There, there's the first one. Look at that. She's awesome. And right, let's go to the next one. She's oh. You're giving her the face. What's the next one? Oh, you're getting a little eye. You're having some thing there. The twins. I remember the twins. Oh, I, remember I remember that remember episode. That was tremendous. Too. You got over on her. Every planet. I don't remember that episode. That was, uh, how, Howard, I don't remember that. Howard, you look a, <laughs> Howard, you look a little weird, you know that? <laughs> hey, come on, yeah, that's I, I Howard. You've been to many planets. Stern the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Howard Stern went off Howard on that. Stern. But you've been with Klingons, for God's sake. I know. Well, uh, Howard is uh, we must seem tremendous. pretty close. Is there going to be a Star Trek Seven? I love that. Yeah, movies. there's going to be a Star Trek Seven. Seriously? Yeah. 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 How is it coming out? Well, uh, there'll be a Star Trek Seven. We should film in the spring and uh, released next, uh, next Christmas, but I don't know who's going to be in it or what it's going to be about. But you'll be in it. You'll be, you'll be I don't know about that. Oh, I no. hope you're involved. Oh, I hope so, too. Yeah, that would be tremendous. 
We actually have a big surprise for you. Um, really? We kind of hooked it up. It's, it's, uh, so far, it's little... been straight ahead. You know? <laughs> I know, it's been straight ahead. I'm such a pro. Uh, I end up in everybody's lap. I don't know if you remember Marta from uh, the asylum on Elba 2. Uh, but uh, she was the green one. She lied when she said that she the was green. on the pill. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you guys hooked up. We tracked down the product of your somewhat uh, productive tryst, and uh, I'm very excited to say that she's here tonight. Say hello to your long-lost Elbin son, Glixer, everybody. Glixer is here tonight. This is... And more from William Shatner. Oh, all right, I'll take it.